creating AI coloring books doesn't have to be complicated. I mean, if you've ever tried to make one yourself, you already know how messy it can get. Writing the perfect AI prompts, making sure the style stays consistent across 30 pages, juggling different tools, paying for extra generations, it can drain your time and your budget fast. And that's exactly why I wanted to make this video, because recently I came across something that completely simplified the entire process, something that lets me skip all the back and forth and start with professional ready templates and no starting from scratch. It's called Kittle and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite features inside the platform that makes designing AI coloring books easier, faster, and way more consistent. So you can start selling on Amazon KDP, Etsy, or anywhere else without feeling overwhelmed. Now, if this is your first time here, my name is Jeff, and this channel is all about becoming self-sufficient when it comes to making money online. So if this sounds like you, feel free to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and turn on that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I release a new video. With that being said, let's get right to it. Now, let's say, for example, you're interested in creating a coloring book using AI, and you're doing your research. And I'm just using this as an example, but let's say we're looking into the space coloring book niche. Now, the first thing you're gonna see are all of these coloring books centered around space, galaxy, planets, and we're gonna see right away books that are selling actually pretty well. This one right here ranked at 163,000. This ultimate space coloring book ranked at 273,000. There's even this book right here ranked at 25,000. And just a lot of other books here selling pretty well. I see another one, 174,000. Now, if we actually take a look at one of these books, for example, this one, Space Coloring Book for Kids. Now, this book has a really high rating, 4.8 out of 5. 85% is a five star. So obviously, we want to take a look at the sample at the interior. So when we get inside, we can see this is the first page right here, blank page. And then here is one of the interiors. So we kind of see the styling here. Definitely looks like it could have been made by AI. But nonetheless, here are some more interiors on the back cover. A spaceship, an astronaut, some planets, another astronaut among the planets here. And we can see right away with that book ranking 44,000, this is making a couple hundred dollars per month in pure royalties. Now let's take a look at another example here. This one is called Space Coloring Book for Kids, 40 plus fun cosmic scenes. And so 40 hand-drawn illustrations. I actually really like the cover on this book. Here's the back cover. So let's go ahead and look at the sample. Here's the first page, the book belongs to page, a coloring swatch chart with planets. And this one actually even includes some facts. So did you know facts right here? And then nothing really of the interior for coloring pages, but on the back cover, we can see some examples of some interiors, kind of like a line art, doodle art type of theme. And this book with a ranking of 273,000 is seeing close to $100 in royalties per month but look at the reviews 4.8 out of 5 nearly 80 percent is a five star so obviously when people do actually buy this book they're enjoying it very much now if we go ahead and look at a sub niche within the space coloring book and take a look at the astronaut coloring book we can see the total results actually way less than the space coloring book so if you actually wanted a specific niche that you could play around with, you could try. Try this one, the Astronaut Coloring Book. We see the niche scores a 53, and Titans Pro Analysis shows demand is a five, opportunity is a nine. So this might be worth your time. And then some of the books here, Animal Astronauts, looks like a really good cover there. Space, Planets, Rockets, and Stars astronaut and space this one my first big book of outer space this astronautica coloring book some more astronaut coloring books as well so lots of examples here to look from now if we take a look at this example so this one is the my first big book of outer space and if we actually look at the interior which is going to be somewhere here in the a plus content we can see a couple pages of the interior right here so very simple very fun this one looks more of like that bold and easy type but if we go up here we can tell that it's selling a lot of copies per month 288 to 432 copies per month now, one more example here. This one is called Astronautica. So this has 50 illustrations. And if we take a look at the sample, so here's some of the introductory pages, 
a color test page, a book belongs to page, and then some interiors on the back cover. So six pages of the interiors kind of get a vibe of what this coloring book looks like. And I could say that it probably looks like it could have been made by AI. But if we look at the reviews, 4.8 out of 5, 92% a five star. So obviously this is the type of niche that does well with AI because the customers are actually leaving positive reviews. Now let's be real, just knowing the niche isn't enough. The hard part is actually creating these books. That's where most people get stuck. You open up an AI image generator, type a few prompts, and suddenly every page looks like it was drawn by a different artist. And before you know it, you spent hours creating something that still doesn't feel cohesive enough to publish. And that's exactly why I started using Kittle because you can literally start from one of hundreds of customizable coloring book templates with pages already designed by professionals and then personalize them however you like. So let me show you what I mean. Now, if we go inside of Kittle, we're going to be greeted by this dashboard. And although they have a ton of features here that we could use to create coloring books, I'm going to show you this section right here where the templates reside. So when you click on templates, you're going to notice that there are indeed a lot of templates here. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna search for coloring book. Now with coloring book, it gives us a couple options here with Kittle Flows, coloring book maker with Kittle Flows and Nano Banana, a coloring book page builder. So why don't we just look into the page builder and see what it has for us. Now I see a couple of coloring books here already. For example, this one right here, as well as this one, and then even some more right here. And they even have themes to it. For example, this one is based off of an enchanted forest, this one toy worlds, this one magical fantasy world. And I'm seeing a lot of options here. So why don't we go ahead and look at this one right here with Kittle Flows and Nano Banana. Now this one's gonna be filtered and showing all of the coloring book templates that use Kittle Flows and Nano Banana, which is actually super awesome because Nano Banana is probably the best AI at generating images right now. And when you pair that with Kittle Flows, it's kind of a little bit of a game changer. Now I made a search for space coloring book maker because that's the niche that we're talking about today. And I found a few options here. There's this one right here, space adventure. There's also this one. And then I also see this one right here, but let's go ahead and open up this one and then play around with this template. Now the first thing that I notice is that it's actually in Spanish, but that's okay because we're not really interested in everything here. I'm gonna be more so interested in the design of these coloring pages. These ones look pretty good. And all I want to do is to create more of these. And so let's go ahead and do that. If I go ahead and click on an artboard right here, it gives us an option to create a smart board. When I click that, you can see it's shaded purple. I'm gonna put it right underneath. This will allow us with a simple prompt right here to create a variation of this. So let's go ahead and try this out and let's type in space station and let's see what it comes up with. And as you can see, it replaced the spaceship with a space station. Now with the next image, let's try this. Let's go ahead and create a smart board. Let's put it on the bottom here. And instead of this robot looking thing, let's go ahead and change this. And let's just type aliens. Let's just see what it looks like. Now I tried a different prompt and actually tried rocket ship. And if we look at it, there it is. It looks pretty good here. So this is the power of Kittle and Kittle Flows and these smart boards because I can literally just go to this one, hit smart board and keep generating these coloring pages. Now, instead of a alien spaceship, let's go ahead and change this and let's just do something out of the box. Let's do balloon space station and we can see that it changed it around a bit. Still looks kind of similar but obviously this all depends on the prompt that you're using. Now, right here, let's go ahead and make this completely different. So instead of an alien, let's create a smart board, put it down here. Let's do a Martian dog. And look at that, that actually looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead to the next one. This one right here, I'm gonna click up here, smart board. I wanna put it down here. And I don't really know what this is, a comet or something. Let's go ahead and change this. And let's go ahead and make this planets and moons. So you can see we changed it a little bit. That's not really what I'm looking for. 
So let's go ahead and remove it and just put replace with a rover. And while that's working, I'm gonna go ahead and create a smart board for this one. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's put that down here. And so instead of a telescope and this plan, I don't really like this look. Let's go ahead and change it and let's do aliens walking with the moon behind them. And if we go ahead and look at this one, you can see the result right there. Let's go ahead and work on this one right here. Let's click up here, smart board. Let's move it down here. And instead of an astronaut, let's go ahead and change around the background here. Let's go ahead and try this one, samurai astronaut in tall grass holding a large samurai sword. Now, while we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and look at this one. So as we can see, we started from this image right here and then we created a variation of it. You see the aliens right there. Now look at that, that looks actually really, really good. That samurai astronaut holding the swords. So really this is the power of these Kittle flows. Now we could just keep making this over and over, but for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna show you really quick what you wanna do next. So once you have all of these, anything with a smart board, what you wanna do is you wanna turn these into images. So how you do that is you click on the smart board over here, convert it to image, it'll put the image right there. And you wanna do this for all of the smart boards. So do that real quick. Now, once you have all that done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna to wanna to put all of these into their own artboards. So if you go ahead and click on an artboard, you right click, you can add a new artboard right there. And you wanna go ahead and keep adding artboards. You can select both and duplicate and then duplicate it again. And then with these artboards, you wanna go ahead and drag these into their respective artboards here. I'm gonna go ahead and move this over here so you can see what I'm doing. Now move them all into their artboards. That way what we can do is we can go ahead and export these. It makes it really easy to go ahead and arrange this in a coloring book. So I'm gonna delete this one right here. Go here to export. I'm gonna export all of the artboards as PNG. You can go 300 DPI if you wanna do that. And then download this. Now if we go back to Kittle's homepage, we're gonna go ahead and create a new project. Now for this book, since it's gonna have bleed, I noticed with the images, they extend to the edges of the page. It's gonna be 8.625 by 11.25, but Kittle doesn't actually let me write in 8.625. So I'm just gonna round up to 8.63 and we're gonna change this to 300 DPI and then create that. Now this is where we start right here. Now typically the first page is gonna be a book belongs to page and you can easily create that with Kittle. Go to text over here. You can go to headline right here and then type in this coloring book belongs to. Let's go ahead and move that up. And let's go ahead and resize this back down like this. Now, what we wanna do is we kinda of wanna change the font. So if I go ahead and move myself to this side, go right here, text style, I'm going to change it. Let's go ahead and use this one. And then let's go ahead and put a border on here, black border, let's go ahead and thicken that up. And then with the text color, change it to white, put the border weight down here, and you can see there it is right there. This coloring book belongs to now, what I wanna do is add a line. So go here to illustrations, look for a line. Go ahead and grab this line right here and just stretch it out. Let's go ahead and zoom in, put it in the middle here, zoom out, select all of it. I'm just gonna center it, there you go. Now what we wanna do, easy, add an artboard. So click on the artboard. We can go ahead and add an artboard right there. Now this is gonna be typically left blank for bleed through purposes. So what we're gonna do is just add another artboard. Now this is where we wanna put one of those illustrations. So I've gone ahead, let me move myself back here, and I've added those illustrations right here. And if we start with the first one, the samurai, very easy, just lock it to the corner and then drag it all the way down. So I'm going to put this a little bit down right here just so the top of this isn't cut off, his head's not missing. Now after this, what you wanna do is go ahead and add another artboard. So let's do that. This is left blank and then add another artboard and then put another one of those illustrations in here. And then this is really all you wanna do until you have your, let's say 30 to 50 images. 
and this is just the process. So let me go ahead and finish this up so you can see what it looks like. So I put all of my illustrations right here. Now typically you're gonna have 30 to 50 images, but you kind of get the point right here. Now once you have all this, this is all ready to go. All you have to do to get this ready for let's say KDP upload is you can go ahead and click here to export. Make sure it's all artboards and then you want to choose the PDF version here. You want to make sure that's 300 DPI. You want to combine all the artboards into one file and then just hit download. Now if you want a full walkthrough on how to make a cover for a coloring book like this, you can watch my previous video on Kittle. I'll leave that linked down below. And that's it. Creating AI coloring books doesn't really have to be that complicated. With Kittle, you can go from idea to design to mock-up all in one place. You've seen how easy it is to take a winning niche, plug in your ideas, and turn them into consistent high-quality pages ready to sell on Amazon KDP or Etsy. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can try Kittle for free today using the link below. And don't forget to use my code JeffYT for 25% off your first month on all Kittle plans. If this video helped you see what's possible, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss my next video. With that being said, thanks for watching. Bye for now.